OGL got you down. Are you looking for a new TTRPG to satisfy your gaming needs? Yeah, well, check out Carbon 2185. <laughs> <laughs> a cyberpunk RPG uh, augmented edition. All right, so we, we know with everything that's been going on, uh, we have been looking uh, for a new RPG to play. And as a big fan of the cyberpunk genre, yes, indeed. Uh, I mean, ever since I'm talking about like Neuromancer, uh, you know, Gibson's Neuromancer, Blade Runner, of Blade course, Runner. Uh, with Harrison Ford, and the new one, uh, yeah. which was his name, uh, Ryan Reynolds. And Gosling. Gosling. God, okay, all right. They're both <laughs> equally handsome. Uh, and all, you know, uh, the, the new uh, Cyberpunk 2077 that just came out, you know, yes, the indeed. RPG by um, there, there were, Project I Red. heard that there were no bugs in that game. <laughs> it was perfect. Now it's better. And there's an expansion coming out. It's called like nice. uh, uh, Liberty something or other. Liberty Mutual. Liberty, Liberty. <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, sponsor us. <laughs> okay, uh, and the anime just came out, the Cyberpunk Edge Runners, which is fabulous. Um, so this is a setting we have been looking to get into for a while. So uh, We're gonna do it. Yeah, we are. And this is 5th uh, edition. It, it goes through the OGL, plays just like 5th uh, edition. So in that, I mean, you have the same sort of stat set. Um, mm -hmm. They're a little bit different, right? It's strength, dexterity, constitution, and then you have intelligence, Mm -hmm. tech uh, technology instead of wisdom and then people instead of charisma mm -hmm. uh, but the way you play is identical right you have the d20s all the way you roll damage the way you get advantage and disadvantage that's all the same so uh, we'll go through uh, just a hair here I'm gonna just pull up the table of contents and talk about some of the things that are similar uh, what makes it really cool what makes it very cyberpunk and we're gonna um, we're gonna be playing a one shot that yeah uh, a one shot the way we do it it'll be probably two a or few three episodes, yeah. episodes a little mini arc um, but if people like it, we'll and we like it. We'll keep playing. Yeah, so. and, and when you watch this, maybe it's we've already had it out here at Green and Garb. So check out our playthrough of Carbon Twenty One Eighty Five, uh, either already out or has already been out. Uh, time travel. So <laughs> uh, okay, so this is it by Dragon Turtle Games. Uh, again, it's very cool, and it's the fifth edition, so it's very streamlined, plays fast, easy to get into if you're a fifth edition player. So mm -hmm. all I'm going to show is just the title and uh, title page there and the content, so we can talk a bit about it. Mm -hmm. um, so. You have your origins here, which is uh, essentially your uh, heritage. Wait a minute, wait a minute. My favorite thing is that the first part of the book is slang. Oh, yes, cyberpunk slang is I so important. I love that. My favorite slang is like, hey, Chum, you know, like yeah. uh, it's like with something instead of cool, it's like Nova, yeah. right? Oh, my cyberpunk slang is, is the boss. I love that that is literally right after the introduction. That yeah. was the, when I started reading through this, I was like, oh, yeah. that's. That's it's, nice. it's beautiful. Yeah. So get, get your chrome and, uh, and, yeah, and get maybe. your brain dances on. So, so this isn't exactly like 2077. It's the same sort of general genre style, yeah. which is probably what many people are kind of uh, aware of now. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it's very, um, it, go, it has the same sort of beats as we'll see here. So, okay, so getting back into it here, you have these different races and the races have uh, stat modifiers, they have cool abilities. Um, and some of them are even, and this takes place in a kind of a, a galactic, not galactic, sorry, uh, solar system wide uh, setting. So mm -hmm. you have, for example, Warmer, which is actually somebody born uh, off world in which Mars. <laughs> I will be playing this class, spoiler. Uh, and then you have the classes. So what's really cool about the classes here is that uh, they mimic fifth edition classes. So if you're just looking for DTRPG to get into very quickly, but be a completely 180 in genre, mm -hmm. uh, let's say you're, you and your uh, table are playing fifth edition already. And you're like, I want to play something different, but I'm not sure I want to get into a whole new rule set, right? Which you've done before, like vampire and stuff. It can be a bit of it's a problem. It's a lot. Yeah. Even, even systems that are easier yeah it's still a lot to learn in but here it's not you know the baseline the fundamentals already mm -hmm. so and it's it's this simple so daimyo is just it's just barbarian right it has the same thing instead of um fury i'm sorry i'm sorry instead of rage has fury everything else works the same um and so uh doc is kind of like a cleric, cleric. enforcer it's like a fighter hacker is basically a sorcerer in a way yeah uh, so be playing this <laughs> and a shocking twist of events <laughs> they use mind bullets uh, i can I, explode you it, this is the cool thing cybernetics like people's Literally, minds yeah or like if somebody has a grenade on them i can look look at them and be like grenade explode <laughs> So I love the cyberpunk. It's what's so cool about it. It's it's, it's you know very gory but very neon. It's like it's like it's, it's just it's just glittery, deadly fun. So I'm very excited. yeah, it's gonna We're be gonna it's blast. beautiful, beautiful. So investigator is a ranger basically, and scoundrel is guess what a rogue. A rogue. So and guess what it has? Oh backstab. <laughs> so yeah, uh, backgrounds. Just the backgrounds of D and D gives you some proficiencies and so forth. Uh, the gear is very similar. AC is the same. All that. So light, medium, heavy. Same. You know you, they give you. Uh, uh, dex bonuses you can use or not, it's heavy armor and so forth. 
So it's really cool. And then they have more uh, system related things and genre related things like addiction, influence, interactions, uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's the future, so it's very dystopian as Cyberpunk is. So uh, there's a lot going on uh, there in the background. So of course, mega corporations run the show uh, and mega corporations so Bad. <laughs> Bad. Bad corporations are like, oh, so you want a better OGL? I don't think so. <laughs> You're gonna work at the Mech Factory. So, uh, yeah. So, but I guess everything sick burn, bro. <laughs> so if you play Fifth Edition, everything here is the same. Uh, the way you get into combat, the way initiatives roll, the way damage done, um, range attacks are a, a much more viable thing now. Before, yeah. you know, you could have a longbow or whatever. Here, you have like mini guns. You have shotguns. You have uh, submachine guns, you have flamethrowers, really epic stuff. Uh, and they all you do like- gun guns. <laughs> you have like, like the minigun does like 4d10 or something. It's, it's, nice. it's awesome. So uh, combat- that far. Yeah, so combat's really actually much more dangerous than D&D 5th edition, so- I did see that, yeah. So if you're going for like a more like OSR kind of vibe too, this might fit the bill a little bit. Mm. So, uh, you know, you're cyberpunk. Oh, you got a, oh, what's the thing from uh, 2077? It's uh, you I either- know, I haven't played it. Okay, it's really cool. It's a very good cool. It's like. Uh, you either die a hero, or 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 live. I think you're trying like to call me <laughs> No, I'm serious. No. <laughs> Are you no, trying to no, I'm serious. It's 2077. Um, someone quote. Some of the comments. Let me know what V says or whoever it is. Uh, you know, and, and Johnny. Quoting Batman. <laughs> <laughs> or no, live long enough to become the villain. No, it's just Batman. That's bad. Okay, there's something from Cyberpunk 27. It's been a while since I played it when it first came out. So, anyway, uh, here's more of the rules. Again, if you already played 5th edition, you can just basically skip all this, look over the uh, the notes. Some things, again, are a little bit different. Like, there's a little more skill proficiencies. You have, like, tech. You have, like, hacking, things like that. It's also a max level 10 system, correct? Yeah, so if you are played previous editions where you have, like, those prestige classes, like in 3rd edition mm -hmm. and before, they only get to level 10, even in 1st and 2nd edition. You'll be at home there, so it's it's very compact and easy to get into. We will be starting our characters at level 3. Yes, for the campaign. So, uh, everything, it even breaks down the whole world for you. What happened, there's, like, this, uh, uh, oh, this world is crazy. Imagine a world where there's a climate disaster. And so what happens there is that from <laughs> the corporations kind of take over after that, uh, and you have this, it's really cool. The lore is very detailed, but the, as cyberpunk as they come. So. And they force everyone to play a lame game. <laughs> yes, they, they do. They, and we have to pay them to pay the, the lame game. Yeah, squid game. So, and then everything else here is for, for the GM uh, and so forth. So that's my overview for cyberpunk. Carbon 2185. So check it out with your group. Uh, are you looking forward to playing it? 2,185. <laughs> yes, a cyberpunk RPG. So. I'm really, I'm really excited. Truly, um, uh, I have skimmed through a good chunk of the book. Mm -hmm. It felt very accessible to me. Yeah. Um, as a D&D sure. player, and um, and I'm really excited for our little, our little romp in this world. And, yeah. And so if people like it, we'll, we'll. Keep continue doing it. it. Yeah, so yeah. check it out here on our channel. Uh, play it with your friends and family. Uh, let us know what you think or if you've already played it. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you like any other uh, TTRPGs that are in the same genre or other genres? Uh, please recommend them below. Uh, we'll be happy to check them out as well. So And support independent creators. Yes, do the thing. Thank because you they much. rock. They rock. Uh, you rock. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe uh, if you like what we do here at Green and Guard. Yeah. If you want to see more of these TTRPG reviews, I'm happy to do them. Mm -hmm. And uh, like that video, give it a um, smite that like button. Yeah, no, 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 wait. This isn't this isn't D and D. This is cyberpunk. So, mech that. Like. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Anyways, thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see, see you next time. time.